Hi, everybody. Well, <laughs> I made a big fuss about I'm not going to do this. I'm definitely not going to do this. And, and, and now I, I, have, I have to take back my words. So what am I talking about? When I was deciding on going on some inaugural cruises, I decided to go on a few of them. For instance, I'm on the Celebrity Ascent in November. It's the inaugural sailing. So it's the first sailing of that ship, which means a lot of things can go wrong. And I also am on the Sun Princess in February's inaugural sailing, which means a lot of things can be wrong. Dining can be bad, shows can, cannot be ready, etc. But I always said to myself, the more things a ship has to get ready, the more bigger, the you know, more devices they have, more high tech, more space, more restaurants, more bars, more shows, they have to get more things ready. So when I was on the inaugural sailing of the Wonder of the Seas, along with a lot of people, a lot of the stuff wasn't ready. The main aqua show wasn't ready. One of the main theater shows wasn't ready. The escape room wasn't ready. They had some of the show, not the shows, but the dining was not ready yet. And so we didn't leave with a real good feeling. And I said, you know what? We got this new ship, new design, the icon of the seas. I said, you know what? I, I'm going to book it like a, like four weeks later. Give it time to settle in, get the, the, you know, the dances down, get their dining schedules lined up, get everybody on sync. And I said, that's what I'm going to do. Great. And so I'm not going to book the inaugural sailing of that ship at all. Um, but I am going on the ship. I'm just going to give it a couple weeks to get ready. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense. I'm already taking chances on two. However, they have a lot less things on those ships to get ready. Although I am a little concerned about the Sun Princess because they have new types of entertainment that they have never done before in the in the sphere right in that dome that they have on board so i am a little concerned about that but we'll you know we have to see we have to see what it is now as i said that i was talking with a gentleman when we were at our award ceremony down in mexico and i was talking to my friend nate he's a royal caribbean representative down there and he looks after canada and some other places and he called me up there this week and he said hey don um I got two spots left on either the 20th or the 23rd, a three day sailing on the Icon of the Seas inaugural sailings in January when she comes across. Now, I was talking with Nate. One of the things I tried to do, I did, here's, this, here's the thing I tried to, to squeeze in there. I said, you know what would be really cool is if uh, when the Icon of the Seas was sailing, from Europe over to the United States, if they would allow me to go on board and do like a, hey, I'm all alone on the biggest cruise ship in the world kind of stories, right? Where I could, you know, show the, show the entertainment practices, meet some of the chefs, meet the captain, meet some of the crew and build up some buzz and everything for the cruise ship before it starts sailing. I thought that would be kind of a cool idea, but for legal issues and things like that, because I'm not an official crew member, they said, yeah, we can't really do something like that. It sounds like a great idea. They would love to do it. Uh, but you know, legally it, it might have some issues. I said, don't worry about it. It was just a thought. I thought that might be some really cool. And the icon of the seas doesn't need any buzz because it's almost sold out for a year. <laughs> so I think they're doing a good job in marketing. They don't need Don's help to do that for sure. And in fact, that would have done Don really good for his channel <laughs> more than Royal Caribbean. But what they did do is offer me a sailing. Now, as I also mentioned in that when I was down there for my my award ceremony, I won uh, what's called the President's Club for our travel agency. And uh, I, I get a cruise out of that. Now I have to pay some money on it, but not near what I would have to pay if I was paying for it myself. It's kind of like, you know, 
Uh, here, we're, we're giving you a group rate and Royal Caribbean and travel agent is paying for it, like the travel agency, but we have to put you in a certain room and you gotta pay the difference kind of thing. Uh, so I am paying a few thousand dollars for this cruise, but the normal cruise is in the 18,000 to $20,000 range. So I definitely wanna go on my Region 7 Seas cruise. Definitely wanna do that. So I said, oh man, I have this cruise lined up uh, I, I got to be able to get to it. When is the Icon of the Sea sailing? And he says, well, we have it on the 20th and we have it on the 23rd to the 26th. So I said, well, I'm sailing on the 26th for my Region 7 Seas cruise. So I, I can't do that for sure. There's no way to get to Rio de Janeiro from Miami in time to make the ship. But I said, I can do the 20th. So Nate has uh, set me aside a cabin on the inaugural sailing of the Icon of the Seas, and I'm kind of excited about it, and I got my fingers crossed that everything's gonna be running. Now, when the Wonder launched, it was just after the pandemic. So there were a lot of things there that, you know, uh, it had issues getting supplies, and that's why things might not have been ready, et cetera. So I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that everything is there for the icon. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to see everything. I'm only on it for a couple of nights. But uh, yeah, I get, I get to go on there. Now, uh, I have to fly myself down there. I have to pay for my hotel rooms and everything, but my cabin is, is Royal Caribbean's doing it for me. So that's very nice of them. And I get a, a sneak preview of something I'm gonna see in a couple weeks after I get off that ship. Cause uh, yeah, actually no, that's January, right? That's right. So January I'm on that and then I go for my, <laughs> my Rio de Janeiro cruise on seven seas and I fly to Europe, I'm on the Sun Princess in early February and I come back from that and I'm on the Icon of the Seas. So it's gonna be a very packed traveling time and trying to arrange flights from Ottawa to Fort Lauderdale, from Fort Lauderdale to Rio de Janeiro, from Rio de Janeiro to Barcelona, from Barcelona back to Ottawa, from Ottawa back to Miami, Miami back, it's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> My, I, I, I punch it in multi-city things and the, uh, the website on my Air Canada website just goes, yeah, we got no flights. I said, what? Yeah, it just says select, but it doesn't have anything under economy, premium economy, or business class. It has nothing there, and it just says, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> So I got to make some phone calls and get on with a representative at Air Canada and say, okay, are you going to be able to book me these trips or am I going to have to go with that outside and go with American Airlines or Delta or somebody else? Because, uh, yeah, it's flying from so many places all in the same time frame in the winter and, a, and a long trips like all the way to Rio de Janeiro, all the way from Rio to Barcelona. It, it's long, long trips. And then Rome back to Ottawa. Huge, long flights, but uh, I think it's gonna be worth it. So yeah, I said, I'm not gonna be on the inaugural sailing. I'm gonna book another one, but this isn't one I paid for. I was invited, getting that clear. I have to pay my own hotel, pay my own flights, all that kind of stuff. Um, pay my own drinks, all that kind of stuff on board. They're just giving me a cabin to show me, hey, this is what it is as a travel agent. That's one of the things, because uh, uh, obviously they want the, some of their top sellers from the travel agents to be there to promote the ship. And because I was in the President's Club, that's why I was invited down as well. And it doesn't help that people trust some of the things I say, some of the things I say, on my channels. Uh, I think I'm pretty honest. I think I come down hard on people if I think they're wrong, uh, but I also praise them for doing stuff right. And uh, I think that's the only way to really do things in this line of work. Well, I hope you appreciate this little video. I hope you're looking forward to some of those cruises. The Celebrity Ascent, the Icon of the Seas, the Seven Seas Navigator. I think it's the Navigator. I, 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 I don't, Seven Seas. And then the, the Sun Princess. Three new ships and one cruise line I've never been on before in my life. 
I'm excited and I hope you are too.